Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, here is Windows 11 dev channel built for insiders. Um, mostly wanted to talk about the fact that this month marks seven years of the insider program. It uh, started in 2014, in October of 2014. Um, that was the first time that we had a preview of Windows 10 actually. Uh, they called them um, technical previews at first. And that was the first time that um, basically uh, people could participate in shaping the future of Windows. So the Windows Insider program was, for the most part, for a while, exciting. It was interesting. You know, I was one of the first to uh, actually get into the program and get the first technical preview of Windows 10 at the time. And of course, the Windows Insider program is continuing now with Windows 11. As you see here, dev channel build that I have here, which is shaping the future of Windows 11, what's gonna be next in terms of um, you know new features and changes. Not a lot yet to really show, but still, um, you know, this is what it uh, will be. And we'll see here in advance what we'll see in future editions of Windows 11. So like I said, for a while it was exciting. For a while there's a lot of things happening. I think the peak of the Windows Insider program really happened when Donna Sarkar was there. Donna Sarkar was very social, so she really knew how to use all of the available channels, including the Twitter feed, to always keep us up to date with everything. It definitely was a breath of fresh air. It was also the peak of some of the big feature updates with a lot of new stuff to talk about in Windows 10. And then it quieted down today. It's Amanda Langowski that is there, which is a very, she's like very low profile. We almost don't hear anything about her. Um, and it's uh, sad because it, um, a lot of the previews today, Windows 10 first is much more boring now. Um, and you know, the future of Windows 10 is gonna be a very simple future. No more really big updates in anything. This, of course, makes the program kind of um, boring for insiders. They're, you know, the insiders are tech, tech enthusiasts. They like to see new stuff in general. As for Windows 11, well, there's the promise of seeing the new things like the um, Windows subsystem for Android, for example, with Android apps. We'll be testing that here first. So there's a few things like that that look interesting for the future we'll be testing eventually. But it's still a slow start right now. But seven years, um, has it changed? Has it, uh, there was a lot of you know, people um, saying that the program wasn't um, good and that you shouldn't let you know, people, regular folks test Windows, uh, that it's, it's no good and that's why sometimes Windows feature updates had problems that uh, arose after they were released. Um, my take on it is not, it's, it's, that's not true. Um, the, as we looked at the times when basically testing failed, what happened is the testing didn't fail. The users did find the problems. Actually, most of the Windows 10 problems that arose over time that were big problems, um, they were already posted in the feedback hub. People had already complained about them. So the testing phase was going well, and actually testing um, in with millions of computers was, I think, much a, a very good idea in terms of testing because now you see a much broader aspect of all the computers out there than um, you know having engineers at Microsoft that honestly were testing in a very limited setup, and so they didn't see also some of the problems of Windows XP or Windows 7 at the time. But the problem was the failure at Microsoft and the insider team to focus on the real problems that people were reporting and fixing them before the release. And that was a, a, huge, a huge problem. And uh, I think it's still kind of a problem. We're not being listened. Um, you know, nobody's listening to us. It's, it's obvious in Windows 11, because even before Windows 11 released, 
all the things that people complain right now are all the things that we complain in the insider rings from pretty much the first Windows 11 um, preview update we had. And um, nothing has changed. They are not listening to the users right now. And um, I would say that is sad to see that, yep, we're complaining about stuff, but nobody's listening. And they're just releasing what they deem to be important or deem to be something interesting. Um, it's obvious that there's a disconnect between the, the user and Microsoft itself in Windows today. But still, seven years of Windows Insider program, and of course, I will be continuing to test in the Windows Insider channels with the dev channel builds here that I'll talk about every week when there's a new one, version on this channel. So uh, that's pretty much it. And for those that wonder how to join the Windows Insider program, well, it's the same thing for either Windows 11 or Windows 10. Um, you join by going to the settings and going to your Windows update. And there you'll see um, the Windows Insider program on the left side at the bottom on Windows 10 and here on Windows 11. And what you do is you uh, simply get started. You need a Microsoft account. And uh, then you'll have to choose between um, three different rings, the release preview, the beta, and the dev. What are the differences between all three of those? Release preview is the least risky one. It's the one where you're going to test uh, mostly um, either something that's about to come out real soon. So, for example, when Windows 11 was about to be released a week or two before it was released to the release preview. Um, it's also testing cumulative updates for bug fixes. And, uh, for example, release preview is also testing right now. Uh, for those that think Windows 10 21 H2 is not a thing, it is because it is being tested on release preview. Uh, there's a lot of insiders that are on Windows 10 21 H2 on the release preview, uh, which is where you might go if you choose and your computer is not compatible with Windows 11, for example. You'll be testing 21 H2 and stuff like that. So what's on release preview is really, really close to being released officially to everyone. So of course it has uh, the less chances of being a problem on your computer. Beta is where we're testing different things right now. Beta is still on Windows um, 11, pretty much doing the same thing as release preview, getting the uh, you know bug fixing updates, stuff like that. But it is uh, also where things can actually happen. Um, for example, the next big update of Windows 11 next year, at some point, there's going to be a release that's going to be for the beta channel. So beta channel is often testing before it goes to release preview. It also means there might be more bugs in there, but still they are deemed to be the most stable testing phase of Windows. And finally, dev channel. That is the most dangerous channel. It's really for tech enthusiasts that really want to go and test future, uh, the future of Windows. You'll see here things that will eventually come out. Maybe not. Uh, it all depends if uh, it works out or not. And uh, well, of course, the chances of having bugs and problems is the highest. It's also the only ring that you can't get out of. So if you go to dev, you have to completely reinstall Windows from scratch if you want to get out. So it's not for everybody because of that also. Uh, beta and release preview, you always have a moment where you can actually leave the program when the uh, versions get officially released. So that's a big difference. And last but not least about the Windows Insider program, if you do join. Um, remember that you'll have updates every week, roughly every week, and that sometimes it can take a long time to install depending on the machine you're using. So you'll have to be prepared for that. I do not think that using a main computer you use every day or for work is, a, is, is something you should do because of the higher risk of having problems. So it's more of, you know, you have a computer, lying around not doing much, well, you can convert it into an insider uh, machine. Or 
and virtualization so you can you know do it in a virtual environment also but i do not recommend being an insider in general on your main computer um, i don't think that's a, a good idea you can also dual boot but that also uh, can comport some risk sometimes so uh seven years of windows insiders thing really times flies if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching